hello! Well, I thought I would just come outside to the workshop and play for a little while, but I had some free time. So you'll notice that the air diesel, air diesel? Air water heater is upside down at the moment. I thought I would try a very bad thermosiphon. Yes, for all those people out there, this is not a perfect thermosiphon. These pipes should be straight and not with a big curve in them. This pipe should have a nice, easy gradient up to there. But besides that, it is working as a very bad thermosiphon. This pipe, which is the cold pipe from the bottom of the tank, is still cold because the water is flowing through it. This one on our side is hot and is exiting hot water up the top. And it is warming. Didn't bring the fleer with me, not pointing at it, we're not going to get into that just now. Just know that it does work, should you want it to, and if you want to improve this setup, please be my guest. But upside down, it will run and it will thermosiphon. Right, let's just turn this off for a moment. For a moment, no, let's just turn this off. I'll give a few minutes to uh, go down to being quiet. While that quietly whispers away in the background, I thought I would talk about 2020. Because if I'm right, this video will be coming out on the 31st and tomorrow, or wait, will you be watching this on the 1st? Anyway, it's going to be 2020 very soon. And we've got uh, things to do in 2020. The 16 kilowatt diesel heater, no, the 16 kilowatt diesel water heater will be here very soon. The tracking details have been provided. It's, I've paid the customs, it's on its way. So we'll have a 16 kilowatt water heater diesel fired to test. That's coming. People have been asking about adding Peltier or, well, CBEC technically modules thermoelectric generators onto some hot part somewhere to try and generate enough voltage and amps to charge a battery. So I've got one here that came out of a cool box and if I take it to bits, put my hand on the warm side and leave the cool side home, I can get half a volt out of it. I know that's not the same as putting on a hot exhaust at 100 and something degrees. The trouble is I need to buy the more expensive ones that will withstand going at a hundred and something degrees in the hot side and not just melting all the solder inside them because you get cheap ones that are like a pound but well they're cheap and they're soldered inside if you put them on hot things they just melt apart inside and stop working but i think the problem is i think you get like three volts out of one on a hot thing so i need like three six nine twelve and one for redundancy to make sure they all come together so it gets a little bit expensive he says, after spending 300 quid buying a heater. Well, at least I can use the heater for other things. Once I've bought, you know, 50 quid's worth of TEG modules and things to charge batteries with and then not really have a use for them. But anyway, we might do that in 2020. We'll see how I feel. I've also ordered another Webasto diesel water heater and it should arrive soon and we'll talk about how to wire it up. I do have there's wiring lying on this desk somewhere that I could show you if I could find it in time. Eh, take one for it, there's wiring on the desk. I'll show you how to wire it up and get it working, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, what else? I also, um, my finger blast grannies suggested an electric, an electric water preheater out of BMW. So I found one of them. I have a feel it's going to be like glow plugs in a box by the looks of it. It's like a really high current 12 volt heating device. But we'll get to see that. I found this in my stash the other day, so I thought we could uh, plumb this in. This is an electric mains powered uh, engine preheater thing. This is, does it say what it is on it? This is a three kilowatt version. The pump and the heating elements all built on this. So we can try that out and plug it in and see how long it takes to heat up. 10 litres of water at three kilowatts. That should be real interesting. Plus it's here, and I've already got it. We don't have to buy any more. You've seen these on eBay. I don't need to provide links to them, surely. You know what a preheater looks like. Anyway, I've got one of them. So we've got that. The 12 volt Webasto, well, Webasto thing. The actual Webasto Thermotop CZ. I think, I don't know if it's C the marine version. Z's the car version. Anyway, they're all basically the same unit, just with 
various different applications and bits bought on the side of them. Uh, 16 kilowatt diesel fired thing. Oh, that brings me back. For people that are interested in seeing it being used for a shower, how are you currently showering? I mean, I looked on eBay and I see you get a 12 volt pump with a shower head basically that would kind of go in a jug of water. I mean, is that sort of thing you'd be like if I got a 25 litre drum and use the heater to heat up 25 litres of water in X amount of time and then had the shower head going and going, ooh, look, showery water. Would you be interested in seeing that? Or do you want it built as a pump pumping water through the heater and then out through into shower head so you've got like instant hot water? Suppose I could actually do both of them. That doesn't sound like that much of a challenge, really. No, I could do that. It's a bit of a thing. Um, well, that kind of... That's kind of as far as I've got for thinking for 2020. What's that? It's like five or six videos of 2020 are already in. Magic. Uh, so, um, well, here in Scotland it's Hogmanay and people are out celebrating and drinking. Wait, depending on if I've timed this right. Hogmanay in Scotland is people drinking and celebrating and bringing the new year. Me, I'll be going to my bed because I don't give a fuck if I'm honest. I couldn't could not care less. I will be in my bed, probably to be woken up at midnight by fireworks, and then I'll go back to sleep. But that's me, I don't like other people. Hey ho, here we are. Oh, another video I'd thought of. Um, if it was possible to take one of the burn chambers for the heaters, and if there's enough space inside to wrap copper pipe round the outside of this, and then like make two holes in the housing somewhere, and have that come out and then you've got, you could run your water through there. I don't know, just a thought. I'll need to disassemble the big heater and see where I can actually make holes and if there's enough space to put this uh, bit in. But those are my thoughts and possible upcoming videos for 2020. Leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see or anything that's possible I can do and well, I hope you all have a nice New Year's and I will see you in 2020. Thanks for watching guys!